We're talking uh, all things Victoria's Secret Fashion Show. Natalie Parecki this morning. Hi. Welcome. Good morning. Good we morning. also have our beautiful model, Tristan. Isn't she She looks gorgeous? like she could be on I, the Victoria's does. Secret runway. Maybe someday, right? Yeah. We're, you we're working the, on it. You picked the perfect model <laughs> I, to go did. ahead and showcase some fabulous looks because who doesn't want to be a Victoria's Secret angel? It, exactly. So we actually did a photo shoot with her in inspiration of Victoria's Secret. So we um, wanted to start out with a very fresh look and we wanted to talk about the, the ways you can get this look and the, um, some of the primers and things you get to make this look stay. Uh, and this is a question I get a lot of, do you really need a primer? Yes. So, and I get this all the time and it's one of the questions I get on my Facebook, do I really so have to have a primer? a lot of people skip that step too. And, but a primer actually is gonna help, you know, set your foundation. It's gonna help fill in any fine lines and pores. It helps make it last all day. Um, one of my favorites is a Smashbox Photo Finish and this is wonderful for photography, but it's also great for every day. You can spot do this one and put it just where you need it, or you can use it all over. So right now- So you now, only just grabbed a small dab. Small, small, You don't small. need a lot. A little Not bit goes a long all. way. And I'm gonna use this awesome little sponge, and actually the sponge you get wet so it doesn't absorb the product. And, it's, and we're just gonna dab, dab, dab. We're gonna take it right where we need it, so like in her T-zone. So that way, when we are taking her wonderful photos, or for every day, we're just gonna put it right here in the middle, and dab it down the middle, right on her nose, down on her chin, and down on her cheeks here. So should you always use an applicator when applying primer, you or can never, you just go ahead and use it with your um, hands? There's some of the primers that are gonna be okay to use your fingers. Everything always goes on better when you're gonna use a sponge like this that doesn't absorb the product, or when you're gonna use any of the uh, brushes. Um, you're not gonna use as much product, so you're gonna save on your product, there which you is always gonna be better. Um, next step is going to be using a uh, primer for your shadow, which we actually already did. So it's back. two separate primers. Okay, you two need one for your primers. shadow, you need one for your primer foundation. Your foundation. So foundation. once the primer's already yeah. on, go ahead and throw that on the eyelids too. Let's see if we can uh, get a little foundation, foundation just to on. see uh, what kind of difference it makes. Okay, so I wanted to use a, this little sponge because everybody always asks me about it's this really when cute. I'm doing photo shoots. Um, it gives it this really pretty dewy finish. Now is that an actual makeup sponge or are you using something No, it is as a, makeup, a makeup sponge. It is a makeup sponge. Okay. This is an, a cheaper version of what they call a beauty blender. Um, this one you can get on a couple different websites. I think you can even get it at like Rite Aid or CVS now. It's only $4. And by the way, what type of foundation is this? This one is Chanel. Um, this is the Vitamin Mirror Aqua. Okay, and so while so you're applying that... So it's giving her a really dewy finish, and this is the kind of look that you're going to want to go for when we're doing this Victoria's Secret Angel look. Um, you want a really natural finish, and, and if you can you notice, see the difference, too, yeah. right there on her forehead, and you can see how the foundation is blending in and giving her that dewy look that you mentioned. But unfortunately, Natalie, we're not going to have time I'm to finish the done. entire look. But that's look, okay, so because we're going to be back. And we are. she's going to have wings and all when we come back. In the 6 o'clock hour, <laughs> so stay tuned for that. More makeup tips coming up in just a little bit. Well, the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show is tomorrow. And a lot of ladies we watch, but we wish at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Natalie Parecki here this morning for Makeup Monday. Also our beautiful model, Tristan. We've done a recreate this morning. Yeah, and we can recreate our face. You know, we may not always be in the gym working it out, but we can do this definitely, and it's an easy, easy look. They keep it very simple and very a very easy look that we can actually wear every day. Um, so the last thing, we did one eye, and I just wanted to show the liner and things on the other eye because this is a question I get a lot too. Okay. Um, so I just wanted to show how we do this clothes for me, Tristan. And by the way, there's already a primer on the there eyelids, is a primer which is important on the lid. to keep yep. the eyeshadow looking fresh and to keep it lasting all day. There is. And then we are going to use a really dark black liner. You could use a little bit lighter black um, or a dark, dark brown or gray. And then I did kind of a quick line here and then I'm going to take a brush and kind of smudge this out. And this is a waterproof liner, so you do have to work a little bit quicker with this one. This one is by Urban Decay. Uh, it's called Perversion, and it goes nowhere. Like, you have to take a nice water or a nice uh, eye, or eye remover to get this off, eye makeup remover to yeah. get this one yeah. off. I know Her you do are, this. are beautiful. Isn't that and amazing? I was going to ask, are those her lashes? These are her lashes, and I did this on purpose because I wanted to keep it a natural look, and I'm going to do the mascara real quick, too, so you can look, and look up for me. And, you know, this is another thing. Uh, doing the waterline is very big now. 
So and, and for those who don't know what a water line is, I mean, the you're getting inside right of the eye, underneath. but you want to do it closer to the lash line. You don't want to dig inside the eye. So right at the edge here, if we can get in here and see, right at the edge here, we just want to show right towards that where you can get mm -hmm. right in there by the lashes just to kind of pop out the eye but you're not going yeah you're not too, you don't want to be too aggressive too. yeah you don't exactly. want to poke yourself and a good tip is to make sure that your pencil is already sharp nice because and if sharp. you're trying to do this with a dull pencil it's you may poke yourself look good right yeah. now let me see that naked two palette this okay. is a palette that we used and i just want to show everybody they're really nice neutral colors this is my one of my favorite palettes and i use it for a lot of photo shoots just because there's some good matte colors in here and there's also some very light shimmer colors in here so that way you can get this really clean look really quickly want to do her her lashes so we can see this great look come together come together oh maybe not oh she has it for me there we see, go I was like uh oh did I forget my mascara <laughs> yeah I'll so I one eye I, with I, mascara. yeah yeah I, I wish we had the picture I, th I thought we sent it but I don't know if we did the picture that we did with her was amazing um, I will make sure it gets up on my Facebook page what's the tip for mascara, mascara not making it clumpy we're gonna look down you want to do one swipe down and then you're gonna do your couple swipes up that's going to give you that non clumpy look but they're going to look false look at how great so that is you want to do that when it's all wet so all you don't wet want to like have a not, dry coat and then put another because that's on. when you're going to get that clumpy look yeah so spider legs we don't want we that. don't want spider legs we want a really <laughs> false lash but we want this big really nice separated lash too okay and Amazing. all of these looks can be found if anyone has any questions makeup monday with natalie on facebook and that's on your facebook page yep. also natalie uh if you uh if folks out there want to book you bridal as well. makeup by natalie uh, dot com and i actually just won um the best of the knot too so yeah so you have an award under your belt yeah. so good stuff there so, all yeah. right natalie thank you so much for joining us Thanks. tristan uh thank you as well she looks like she's ready for the victoria's secret mm -hmm. runway yeah.